everyone. I thought I would come on here and do a haul because I bought some things a little while ago now and they've been sat here in boxes. I haven't unboxed any of them because I wanted to do it with you on camera. I've got items from Gucci. You can see there. I've actually got, I've got two items from Gucci and I have got also something from Fendi and I've got loads of, well, I've got three pairs of new shoes. So I'm gonna start with the new shoes and show you what, what they look like. Oh, I've got stuff everywhere. It's such a mess here at the moment. Let's open the first. So everything is from a brand called Vivea. Some of you might have heard of this brand before. Their stuff is gorgeous and it's so comfortable. Let me just open this. And I wanted to go with a pink thing. Oh, they're nice. I've got to show you these. This is the first pair and these are called Margot and they are a Mary Jane. And with the veil, okay, so first of all, everything is so, so soft when you wear it. All of the shoes are made, each pair of shoes is made from six plastic water bottles. So they recycle plastic water bottles, which is something I really love about the brand, that it's got an like good ethics behind it. This particular pair, they have a non-slip, very grippy sole. They also have this, I don't know whether you can see that, but just at the back there, there is a bit of padding. But what that does is it's, it stops you getting blisters. You physically can't get a blister in these shoes. And I, want, I know it's a big statement, but I wanna say that when you wear them, they're like slippers when you wear them on. These also have a herbal insole with arch support. And the material on them is also stretchy. So if you do have a wider foot, they're very comfortable. Um, I've got a wider foot and I find these very comfortable and really nice for in the day. And these have got a slightly squared off toe. And these were 79 pounds. So pretty good value, I think. Very cute. Here's the next pair. And I thought just in this, I'm showing you cutaway clips of me wearing them so that you can get a sense of how they look on. But, but this, oh, these are nice. So here we have a pair of sandal heels, so sling back heels. These are in the colour mauve. And to give you a comparison of colours, so this is obviously quite a bright pink. I'm going to link to all of these below and I'll write what the colour name is on there. These are mauve, kind of like a mauvey, purpley, lilac-y colour. And these are really nice as well. Super stretchy. Very, like, so soft. So, like, the material is so incredibly soft on them. They've got arch support. They've got an extra, extra padded bit there for your heel. So no pain when you're walking a grippy sole very grippy there i've taken a, um my usual size in all of their shoes they do have on the website when you look at any pair of shoes they do have a sizing chart where you can literally measure your foot so if you're not sure get out a tape measure and start measuring and that's how you can figure out your size but i always just get my regular size and i find they're true to size and then the final pair before we move on to gucci and some fendi they are these look at these pink sneakers so what i did was i wanted to get a pair of heels a pair of flats like mary jane's and a pair of sneakers and these so i do lots of walking but when i go for a walk i do like to look nice i do like to dress up like not to the nines you know not crazy but i like to have a nice bag with me and pink is my color that's the color that i wear a lot uh, particularly in accessories and these i just think these are absolutely stunning again they've got that grippy sole they're very very padded on the inside they've got Vivea written just along there like as in the logo and that is what they look like from there so nice and I think they're a good width you know they're good average width but because this fabric is stretchy um I don't think you're gonna have a problem if you do have a wider foot but yeah they're the three pairs of shoes and as I said I will link to all of those below uh yeah so I'll put all of those below now let's move on to Gucci so uh, I'm going to start with a bag, a handbag. Oh, look, it's all wrapped nicely. <laughs> 
with the ribbon. Do you know, I haven't bought a Gucci bag in years. Certainly not from the boutique. I've bought them online and things like that, but when you buy them online, particularly if you buy them through a retailer, like I buy through Louisa Vieroma, let's say, they don't come in a Gucci, well, sometimes they come in a Gucci box, but not always, sometimes it's just the dust bag, but, you know, to actually go in store. So some of you might have seen a vlog that I did a couple of weeks ago where I went into Gucci and my salesperson there is called Amani and she is lovely and if you want a nice salesperson they're all really nice but go and see Amani you can find her on the ground floor in Harrods where the accessories are like the handbags and I wanted to look at some pink stuff you guessed it some pink stuff and she booked out this private room and filled it with pink things she filled it with pink handbags i might like pink clothing all in my size accessories scarves sunglasses there was pink macarons the whole thing she just went above and beyond and she made it so much fun to go shopping and this was a bag i saw when i was there and i did have a lot of you saying to me did you buy a bag and if you did what did you get this is what i got They've changed their packaging. It used to be that green embossed packaging. Now it's gone back to like maroon. Look at this though. How gorgeous is this? This is the Jackie bag in the size small, I think. And this is what it looks like. So it's like a very cool tone pink. And I actually think it's gonna go so well with these shoes. Oh, I think that's going to look amazing. Or even, even these. Oh, look at that match. That colour match. Let's try it with those sneakers, actually. Because, you know, I do wear sneakers in the day. See, even those work with it. I do wear sneakers a lot in the day because I find them comfortable and I can kind of move quickly on my feet as opposed to, like, being in a heel. Um, but, yeah, I feel like those two, they go together really well. It has got... A clip opening and closing. Um, Amani was telling me that back in the day they used to have like a bamboo opening and closing, but for whatever reason they've gone backwards on that and now they've put the clip back on. This is a bag that's been around since, I think I remember her saying 1958, although it was really in the 60s when it took hold. And it's a bag in a design that Gucci have always made. And one of the reasons why I wanted to get it is besides the colour and the fact I have actually been looking at this bag for a little while now, and Amani kept saying to me, if you're going to buy a Gucci bag, get this because it's classic and they're always going to make it. And you know I'm up for classic bags. I like to buy something that I know I can always wear. Um, so, And this is, this is literally it. It also comes with, let me show you this. This I didn't even know was a thing. It comes with this extendable strap. So it's got the Gucci green and red there and it's it's like this and what you do is you undo the buckle here on that bit and then the other shall I just do it I'll just, I'll just show you and this is what it looks like with that extended strap on it and you can also I mean I've put this quite long but you can adjust the drop length because there are uh, holes all the way up this bit so if that's too long for you you want to have it a bit shorter you can absolutely do that but i liked that you could do that with this bag i like that it can be a shoulder bag but it can also be crossbody this bag was two thousand four hundred pounds and if you ask me in this day and age that i think is a really good price for a bag of that size i mean if you look at it it's not a small bag fits all of my stuff and for a brand like this to be able to go and buy a bag for that price I think is good and and I did actually do a video a couple of weeks ago and I said to you guys would you like it if I did a video on bags that are around about £2,000 and under and some of you did actually say yes so I can actually do that video and this would be one of those bags that I would say if you're on a budget even though £2,400 is not a budget, you know, that's still a lot, but it's not 5K. 
Um, if you do have a budget of around about 2K, have a look at Gucci because you can actually get a lot for under 2K as well, particularly if you go for the canvas pieces, which wear really well. You can take them out in the rain, not a problem at all. So that's the first item and I love that. Now I look at it, I love it even more. Now I see it. The next item from Gucci, it's a piece of ready to wear. And I only went in thinking I was gonna get a bag, but because Amani had done such a good job putting in really cute bits of ready to wear, I saw this item and I was like, okay, I, I really, really like that. And I can see myself wearing it a lot. So this is it. Let me just clear some space here because it's getting a bit messy. This is the dust bag. It's got Gucci on it there. And I quite like their dust bags. They're really handy, I will say. Again, it's pink. That's the theme of this video, except for the thing from Fendi. That's not pink. It's orange. Yeah, I know. You're gonna, when you see it, I think you're gonna like it. Let's open this and see. Oh, yes. This is it. A cute little cardigan. Let me tuck that back there. It's made out of quite thick fabric, um, sort of like, uh, what would I say this fabric is? I'm not sure. It doesn't say, does it? No, I'm sure it's on there somewhere. But yes, this is it. It's got a really nice trim around the neckline and that goes down there. It's got little functional pockets, not that I would use them, but they're there if you want to use them. Um, obviously is long sleeved and this is what it looks like on the back so just the same pattern there I wouldn't normally go for this kind of thing but I tried it on just to put it with that bag you know and I was like oh I actually think I really like it and then I thought about it and what really helped is that I filmed myself and that's a really good way for me of knowing if I like something or not. And I looked at it back on the footage and I, and I thought, actually, that does look really nice. I just love the colour of it. I feel some of you have said I should do that, that thing where you have your colours told to you. But I always feel like this shade of pink. Just I love it. And again, look, goes with the shoes, goes with all of it. All of those things work together quite nicely, actually. It's a pink explosion, but that's okay. And also they gave us Gucci chocolates, which I haven't opened. Dark chocolate, dark chocolate with hazelnuts, milk chocolate with hazelnuts and white chocolate is in there and it feels pretty heavy as well. So that's Gucci. Now let's move on to Fendi. And uh, I, saw this particular item about a month ago maybe more actually and I saw it and it was worn by JLo and I did really like it and I thought about it nearly too long because it's been out now so long it's like a seasonal piece that I was surprised there was any left so there's two left in the no three left in the UK one's in a size 44 in Harrods which I tried on but it was too big one was in a size 36 and I tried that on and it fitted like a glove so I decided to get it. Harrods have got two th 136 left and a, and a 44 as of today you know probably by the time this video goes out they won't have it left but uh let me show you receipt in an envelope and I didn't want a large bag with this because I hate walking to the car with like those gargantuan huge carrier bags uh, but this is the dust bag I love a dust bag this is the dust bag from Fendi and this is the top now I tried it on with the most amazing pair of trousers but I thought I'm not going to get them because I keep buying trousers like this that are high-waisted and suit type material and I forget what I've got and I did actually resist temptation on those trousers, even though I keep thinking about them. I need to go to my wardrobe and look at all of the trousers I've got because I bet I've got something similar. But this is the top that I got. Very different to the pink theme. This is what it looks like. It's a very stretchy material. It's a bit like, you know, the Marine Serre moon, crescent moon tops. It's 
slightly thicker material to that but if you're familiar with those tops that's kind of how it feels it's very like sculpting it's very like sucked in um, but it's a comfortable material it's not restrictive at all and um oh this was this was super nice as soon as i saw it and I, as soon as i tried it on i thought yeah i've left it long enough i'm gonna go for that so i went for it it's not typically colors that i would normally go with but I don't mind them actually. Let me know below what your favourite items are that I've shown um, or let me know if you don't like any of it. That's also fine. Thank you all so much once again and I will see you in the next video.